To work Romanian cord, I suggest using a dense non-stretch yarn, for example, a cotton yarn and a hook that's a little smaller than you would normally use for that type of yarn. Hold your yarn in your normal manner for tension. That's how I would hold mine to start crocheting. Make a slip knot. And then you're going to make two foundation chain without pulling the yarn tight. Otherwise it's going to be difficult to work into later. Now, work into your second chain from your hook. I like to work into the back bump of the foundation chain, but you can work into wherever you usually work when you crochet. We're going to start by making a UK double crochet, that's a US single crochet, into that second chain from the hook. So there's the first chain from the hook, and here's the second one. Slide your hook in through the chain, Wrap your yarn round your hook, pull it through the chain, wrap your yarn round your hook again, and pull through both of the loops on the hook. And that's your first stitch. Turn to the side and find the turning chain. And there's the turning chain at the side of my work. You can see both sides of it and a little bit of the stitch in the middle. I'm going to work another UK double crochet or US single crochet into those two sides of the turning chain. So I'll slide my hook through, yarn around the hook, pull it through that turning chain, yarn around the hook again and through the remaining loops on the hook. Now I'm going to turn my work when you're making the Romanian cord, you turn the work in a rotating manner, always in the same direction, rather than back and forth like we do in normal crochet. So I'll be turning it from the hand holding the hook toward the hand holding the yarn for tension. And there we can see there are two loops on the side of the work. We're going to slide the hook into those two loops and we're going to make another UK double crochet or US single crochet. So yarn around the hook, pull through those two side loops, yarn around the hook and pull through the two stitches on the hook. And that's what we're going to repeat until we get the cord the length we want. Turn in a rotating manner, find the two loops on the side of the work, there they are. They're close together, you can't easily see that they're two at this point. And then make the UK double crochet or US single crochet into them. So hook through the loops, yarn around the hook, pull the yarn through, yarn around the hook and pull it through the two loops on the hook. Let's do that a few more times. Rotate two loops, hook through, try not to split the yarn, yarn round hook, pull it through, yarn round hook and through the two loops. Rotate, two loops, hook through, yarn round, Pull through, yarn round, and through the two loops. When we reach the length we want and we want to finish off, it's really, really simple. Just leave a length of yarn for weaving the ends in or sewing the cord to your project. Cut and pull the yarn through and there's your Romanian cord finished off. It 
won't open. It's the same on both sides. And when you measure your cord for the project, if your cord is going to be bearing any weight, for example, if it's the straps of a bag, straps of a top, you want to measure with it slightly stretched, just as it would be in the project. So measure it like that rather than when it's lying at rest. If on the other hand, you're going to be using your cord as a decorative applique on a project, then measure it while it's lying flat without any stretch on it. The star tent often has a little loop on there um, and that can very easily be hidden when you're weaving in the ends. Romanian cord has lots of possibilities for use. Um, I've used them for the straps for a top, it can be used as a straps for a bag. You could also use it for a standalone project such as a belt, a key fob, um, a lanyard. Um, it could be a trim to applique to a cushion or a garment, maybe a braid on a coat. You could even apply it on a ready-made garment. It would look really smart attached on uh, perhaps a, a blouse or, or a cardigan or a, a jacket. It's a really nice way to use up your pretty yarn scraps and a perfect project for crocheting on the go as it's quite small. Let me know in the comments if you have other ideas for how to use it and thank you for watching my video.